Valley Ride. After the video, stay tuned for reading questions and activity ideas and visit LaurenMartinBooks.com for more free learning resources. Please like, share, and subscribe to Lauren Martin Books for more read-along stories. Now let's read Little People Big Dreams, Sally Ride. Little Sally was a fearless girl from Los Angeles, California. Eager to explore the world around her, her parents always encouraged her and her sister to keep their minds and hearts open, reaching for the stars in everything they did. Sally's love for science grew at school. Solving math problems and tricky puzzles felt like mental gymnastics to her. Back home, she enjoyed playing with a chemistry set, looking at the stars with her telescope and reading her favorite science magazine. But Sally wasn't just smart, she was also a gifted tennis player. She was so good that it won her a scholarship to one of the best high schools in town. There, she met a very special teacher who inspired her to become a scientist. She was studying physics in college when she read that NASA was looking for scientists to become astronauts. More than 8,000 people applied, but only 35 were chosen. Sally and five other women were part of that lucky group. For five years, Sally learned parachuting, survival techniques, and everything there was to know about a space shuttle. She even found time to earn her pilot's license and help NASA build a gigantic robotic arm to use in space. Her hard work and dedication paid off when Sally was chosen to join the Space Shuttle Challenger crew. She was about to make history as the first American woman to explore the universe beyond the bounds of Earth. However, at the time, the press didn't take female astronauts seriously. They asked her many silly and sexist questions, like whether she cried at work. But Sally knew she was the right person for the job and kept working hard. When the day finally arrived, Sally and her teammates felt lonely as the hatch closed, yet that feeling didn't last long. Once they reached the atmosphere's edge and left Earth far behind, the stars looked brighter than ever. During their six-day mission, Sally did many scientific experiments and watched Earth from space. Looking back from above, she realized how precious and fragile our planet is and how humans must do all they can to protect it. She was getting ready for her third mission to space when, sadly, seven fellow astronauts lost their lives in a shuttle explosion. Sally helped to figure out what went wrong and gave useful ideas so that it would never happen again. After nine years as an astronaut, it was time for Sally to encourage others to follow in her footsteps. So she became a physics professor and worked with NASA to set up a camera that allows students to take pictures of Earth from space. Along with her partner, Tam, she started her own company, Sally Ride Science. Together, they wrote books for curious young minds and designed fun experiments to inspire children, especially girls, to get excited about science. And the girl who believed there was something magical about learning keeps inspiring us to discover the world. That's why, as long as there are stars to reach for, there is a place for little Sally in every young scientist's heart. Who did you learn about in this book? What are they famous for? What did they do to accomplish their goals and change the world for the better? What challenges, obstacles, or difficulties did they overcome to achieve their dreams and make the world a better place? What can you learn from them? What are your goals and dreams? What can you do to make the world a better place in big ways and small, everyday ways? What challenges might you need to overcome and how can you overcome them with the help of others or with the help of your own determination and hard work? Write or draw what you learned about Sally Ride and her achievements and how she made the world a better place. Think about what you can learn from them about accomplishing your dreams and changing the world for the better. Please like, share, and subscribe to Lauren Martin Books for more read-along stories. Visit LaurenMartinBooks.com for more books and free learning resources. Thank you for reading with me.